This video is to educate merchants on how to use offline mode. Before we begin, please note that this feature is only available for standalone Deja Vu Gateway powered P series terminals, and it only lets you perform sale transactions. When the device enters offline mode, a red accent appears at the top of the screen. To perform an offline transaction, enter the transaction amount. This prompt will appear to inform you that only swipe or manual card entry is allowed. EMV payments are not supported. If TIP has been enabled for the TPN, the customer can choose a TIP from this screen. If the TPN has fee enabled, a breakdown of the transaction will appear. Tap here to proceed. Select card as the payment type. Swipe the customer's card or manually enter the card details. Once the transaction is complete, the merchant copy of the receipt will print automatically. If you wish, you can also print the customer copy of the receipt. If you don't want to, tap here to proceed. The receipt will have the offline sale label and the offline reference number here. This reference number is crucial for tracking and locating specific offline transactions later. The message you entered when setting up offline mode on the portal will appear as the response here. A disclaimer is also printed on all offline transactions as a reminder. There's also an option to send the receipt through SMS by entering the customer's phone number here. The receipt will be sent to the entered phone number after the transaction has been uploaded. After performing the first offline transaction, this message will be displayed on the notification panel. When the device detects and connects to a network, it will automatically upload the offline transaction without needing any manual effort and print a regular transaction receipt with the transaction number, reference number, transaction ID, and the offline reference number. If you wish, you can also manually upload an offline transaction. Click on the star icon to access favorites. Select offline mode. Here, you can check the status of previous offline transactions. If you need to know the status of a specific transaction, simply enter its offline reference number. If an automatic transaction upload fails for some reason, you also have the option to upload it manually. You can also remove an offline transaction before it uploads, effectively voiding the transaction. If you click the filter icon, you can filter offline transactions using any of the available options. Once filtered, click here to print a report of the selected offline transactions. When you print a batch report on the payment terminal, offline transactions will be marked with a star icon. If you're viewing batches from the portal, an info icon will appear next to offline transactions, while declined offline transactions will be listed separately. Thanks for watching.